Hear me, y'all. I swear, I swear, if you're on the fence, this is, let this be your permission. Let this be the sign that it's time to let it go. Not for good, just for now. So today's transmission is a video about why I stopped smoking weed. Now, I get this question quite a bit on my social media and um, inevitably, people want to know whether I think it's good or bad, right or wrong. And so I wanted to make this video and sort of add a twist to what even prompted me to stop smoking weed and why I haven't done it in seven years. So um, all of this is my truth, my story, nobody else's truth, nobody else's story. I'm not claiming these things to be facts. I am just going to speak my truth about what works for me and my life. Now, if you guys are wondering why I have all of these, this paint on me, I just got out of a ceremony, AKA a photo shoot with uh, a gentleman by the name of Amir, Amir Image on Instagram. Awesome dude. He has a company called Tribal Markers and we went super deep. So be on the lookout for that. The first time I smoked weed, I was 11 years old. And uh, I was doing it for about a month or so before my dad actually caught me. And he caught me because we had the blunt papers. Uh, we left them in the toilet. Um, so stupid, 11. We rolled this blunt in his room while he wasn't there, then left the papers in the, the like the ash, the, the stuff you take the blunt out of and, and in the toilet and never flushed it. So he, you know, he pulls me to the side, I'm 11 years old and he says, you know, um, and I'm thinking I'm gonna get in trouble. I'm thinking I'm about to get my butt whooped. And he, he sits me down and he has this interesting logical conversation with me around weed and how marijuana comes from the earth and that he doesn't, necessarily find anything wrong with it but he asked me to look around and remember I'm 11 he asked me to look around my life at all the people who do smoke weed and he said do you want their lives and he said before you answer I want you to think about it for a couple days and so 24 hours goes by and he sits me back down and I had a thought about it I literally was like okay is he gonna Am I going to get on punishment? He's going to take basketball away. And is my Nintendo going away? Like I was straight up shook at 11 as to why I wasn't getting in trouble. But I actually started to consciously think about the question he asked me, which is, you know, I knew that some of my uncles smoked weed. I knew that some of the gang uh, members, the older gang kids smoked weed. And I looked at some of these people's lives and I just I had this thought where I was like, I don't actually want their life. And so he sat me that back down 24 hours later and and asked me what I thought. And I said, you know, I don't necessarily want their lives. And he said, beautiful. I'm not gonna stop you from being a little boy, but I do want you to know that you are a leader. And if ever something doesn't feel right for you, no matter how many people are saying it's right, you will go left because you're such a leader that you have that power. And in my 11 year old consciousness, that like stuck with me. And it's still stuck with me to this day. Now fast forward to, I didn't smoke weed. I stopped at 11. I started at 11, stopped at 11. Fast forward to 27 years old. I'm in Los Angeles and uh, I decide as an adult, I'm gonna try it again. And so I, uh, my roommate at the time and some of his friends were like straight up stoners. And they were smoking weed every day, all day. And they had this stuff called green crack, which Every time they would smoke it, they would just laugh the whole time. And one day I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna try it. And everybody made a big deal. Oh, P about to smoke, P's about to smoke. And so I hit this weed and, I, and I'm smoking it. And um, that turned into a couple years of me smoking. And um, I actually was going through a pretty tough time in my life when uh, a friend of mine introduced me to uh, plant medicine ceremonies. And so I went to this plant medicine ceremony in Ojai, California, which is like one of the hippie capitals of the world, and um, had this ayahuasca ceremony. And while I was in the ceremony, the, the medicine hit, and it started to have a conversation with me. And, and, and the conversation was, Preston, you want, you're asking to be a leader in the world. 
You're saying you want to levitate. You're saying that you want to be one of those people who lead people back to their truth. And I'm like, yeah. And they said, or the medicine said, God said, whatever my source energy, my higher self, whatever you think that is, whatever it was, was talking to me. And it said, if you want to do that, you're going to have to let go of some of the vices and the things that you're using as a crutch. Because at that time, I didn't have weed. Weed had me. Meaning anytime I was sad, weed. Anytime I was um, anxious, weed. Anytime I wanted to calm down, weed. So now it, was, it became an emotional crutch for me. And the game, guys, is to be a conscious choice maker. The game is to, is to be so empowered and so full from the inside out that we don't need external things in order to make us better. And so in this ayahuasca ceremony, I heard it's time to let alcohol and marijuana go. And it, was, it didn't say for good, it just said time to let it go. And so I left that ceremony, it was like August 18th. I went to Burning Man like a couple days later uh, or like a week later and I let it go. And here I am, uh, you know, I'm 37 years young and uh, I still haven't decided to smoke weed again. Now, I didn't quit. And that's the thing I want you all to hear. I didn't quit alcohol, I didn't quit weed. I just no longer choose it because it doesn't hold the highest frequency for me. When I choose those things consciously, from a place of power, then they're all good. It's just another mechanism. Um, but they don't work for me. So uh, you would say that I would be a sober person, someone, and, and the tricky thing was, guys, and I, and I gotta say this just so you understand how interesting this whole process was. When I stopped, it wasn't necessarily this like easy thing because I had to relearn how to have fun. I had to relearn how to be in my body, in a club, at a party with my friends. I had to relearn how to be a leader enough in order to say no when everybody else was saying yes. And I know that that can be awkward and weird, just like trying to learn how to walk when you're a child or learning a new instrument. And for those of you who are on the edge and you're going, you know what, I think I may want to let this go. Alcohol, weed, pills, whatever you're, whatever has you, uh, emotional eating, masturbation, porn, whatever that is. If you're hearing this video, like hear me out. It's one of the best decisions I made in my life in the last 10, 20 years. Because the moment I removed those things, I had to face off with parts of myself that I was ignoring or disowning. And by facing off with those parts, I was able to clear up energetic space and energy and become the greatest version of myself for now, right? And I'm constantly doing that thing because involution, evolution, revolution, right? So I had an involution, which, which, which was a, a, a changing of thought, right? A new thought, the new thought movement. I had a new thought about something and, and started making actions around that new thought. And that, that created an evolution, which means I evolved in what it means to be pressed in smiles, right? And, and when I did that, I attracted all these other people who were doing the same thing, and that became a revolution. Hear me, ooh, 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 hear me, y'all. I swear, I swear, if you're on the fence, this is, let this be your permission. Let this be the sign that it's time to let it go. Not for good, just for now. Not for good, just for now. Rastafari, yes. Blessings and blessings, guys. I hope that this video touched your heart in some way. Uh, if it resonated with you, please leave a comment. Like, tell me what's up. Tell me what's coming up for you as you watch this video and uh, share it with anybody who you think may resonate. I love you all so much. Blessings and blessings. Ooh.